man. <laughs> These people like they they don't get tired of disrespecting Lamar Jackson. Like when 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 does it get old, man? Like for real, when, when does it get old? When do you reach the point where you like, man? Look, man. I ain't got to disrespect him like this no more. I ain't got to disrespect him like I used to. But I guess for some people, it just never does. Team Keep It Clean, Nick Wright, uh, who is an analyst uh, of the NFL. Big Chiefs fan, by the way. I mean, that don't really have anything to do with anything. But he does let it be known like that he is a big Chiefs guy. Um, but I ain't got no problem with that. Uh, but as long as you call fair game, as long as you say what's real and be honest about stuff, I don't care what team you root for. It don't even matter. But with Nick Wright, this was a new low for him. Because when I saw it, I was like, what? <laughs> Because I couldn't even get mad because it's funny. It's it's, it's goofy actually, but it, it, it's funny. So Nick Wright, um, he was doing. <laughs> you know how people will make all these different sorts of lists, and y'all know we love reviewing people's lists. We don't like making our own at all, but we love going over people's lists. So he did a post draft QB tiers list. So. Best QB, the next tier, the next tier, the next tier, the next tier. So, uh, let's just go over that. Before we do, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on Because <laughs> if y'all see this, man, y'all are like, what? And when we go over the course, y'all will know about it. But anyway, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on notifications on and leave a like on the video because it helps out a lot. And it keep letting YouTube let you know when we upload something. Or we go live like we really do. But anyway. Um, so, at the top of his list, the top QB in a tier of his own, Patrick Mahomes. No problem with that. I don't think no, nobody should have a problem with that. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the NFL right now. He is a, a multiple-time Super Bowl champion. What, they got three of them? The man just, all they do over there is win. But that's it. That's the only thing they do with the Chiefs. They, all they do is win, straight up. So, Patrick Mahomes class of his own cool got no problem with that at all i don't i don't think you should either maybe some of y'all do but hey then that's fine. if you do that's your opinion that's fine but i ain't i don't disagree with that i ain't got no problem with that all right cool second tier <laughs> is vacant <laughs> So it's already starting off a little. Okay, he feel like nobody is even close to touching Mahomes. That's what I got from it. The second tier is vacant. There's two spots on the second tier. Right under Patrick Mahomes, nobody there. Nobody. You know what? As a matter of fact, let, 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 me, let me pull up the list so y'all can look at it while we go over it. So that'll make it even better. So then the third tier, the, the, the third tier is Joe Burrow. C.J. Stroud and Joshua Allen. And this is where it starts. So, you're telling me. the man, and, and again, I, I know the quarterbacks, they don't necessarily play each other when they go against each other. But they kind of do play against each other. And they got a, they, their team's going against each other. So, you're telling me the guy that Lamar Jackson got plenty of victories over. But he only got one victory over him. That's the guy who uh, is a tier above Lamar Jackson. You're telling me that Lamar Jackson is worse than the fella that he started and ended his season last year, C.J. Stroud. See, again, Joe Burrow, nice. C.J. Stroud is nice. Both of them are nice. But you're telling me they both better than Lamar Jackson? Or even if you don't feel like they better than Lamar Jackson, Lamar Jackson not even on the same tier as them? Really? <laughs> and then Josh Allen. Like, again, Josh Allen, nice, man. He nice. But you, you tell him, he's not on a, the, Lamar Jackson's not on the same level as a Josh Allen. Josh Allen is a tier above. <laughs> Look, man, um, we hear it all the time. But oftentimes, uh, for me personally, I don't always realize the significance of it. 
uh, winning an MVP award. Um, and Lamar Jackson, in his young career, has already won two. And what's crazy is that the one guy, there was one guy who was a Bills fan, and he picked Josh Allen to win. The, he, he voted for Josh Allen this past year. And that was the lone vote, the lone vote as the reason why Lamar Jackson didn't win two unanimous MVPs. You know how crazy that is? Because, again, I remember when Lamar Jackson first won his first MVP, it was unanimous, and they were like, oh, the only other person to do this was Tom Brady. He's like, oh, that's okay. I don't like that. Uh, but then for the second one, it was, it was close to unanimous. He had 49 out of 50 votes for him. And just that one person. But, yeah, again, coincidentally, he, he voted for Josh Allen. Maybe he took part in this tier list, too. He's like, no, 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 Josh Allen is a tier above Lamar Jackson. That's where my vote's going. But it's just, it, it's funny, man. It, it really is. But, uh, so, yeah, so Joe Burrow, CJ Stroud, and Josh Allen. Next, next tier. Oh, wait, we got Lamar now. Lamar Jackson is on that fourth tier of quarterbacks. Two-time MVP. A lot of wins. Regular season, a whole lot of wins in regular season. A lot of records broken, you know. Like we always say, Lamar Jackson, every other game, is like he breaking a new record or something. He's always doing something crazy. But anyway, in that fourth tier, it's Matthew Stafford, <laughs> Justin Herbert. Matthew Stafford, um, Matthew Stafford, he, he's nice, man. He's nice. He's getting up there in age and dealing with some injuries here and there, but he, he's, he's nice. Super Bowl champion, by the way. Um, I, I like Matthew Stafford. I, I know with him, he sort of, uh, I guess he, he sort of had a Tom Brady effect. On, I didn't hate him before. I hated Tom Brady before. But anyway, uh, with Matthew Stafford, the, way I, the reason I say he had a Tom Brady effect to me is because it took him going to another team for me to really appreciate him. Um, because he, he was over there doing his thing with the Lions. They weren't winning much, but he was over there doing his thing. But then when he went to the Rams, it's like he was doing his thing and they were winning. So it's like, oh, okay. I got you now. I see you. Um, so I ain't got nothing bad to say about Matthew Stafford at all. Uh, Justin Herbert, um, all the talent in the world, uh, the man, he, he can play. He don't win much. <laughs> He don't be winning much, but hey, that boy can show up play, can't he? But then this is where it gets extremely disrespectful. The guy who hasn't even taken a snap in the NFL. Like, got to say this out loud because you could look at this list and you could be like, man, this is crazy. Caleb Williams is on the same tier as Lamar Jackson. That's crazy enough just seeing it. But then you got to say it out loud for it to really hit you. The guy that hasn't taken a snap. In the NFL is just as good, is on the same tier as a two-time NFL MVP. That's insane. That's crazy. That makes literally no sense at all. And this list <laughs> is... It's null and void. Throw this list out the window. Throw, throw it out. Put it in the trash. Don't even, don't even recycle it. Don't recycle it because you don't want anybody even getting a piece of this list in their house. Throw it out. Get rid of it. Burn it. Be done with it. Because this, this is nasty right here. This is nasty. We ain't even got to go over the other tiers because they don't even matter anymore. But this is disgusting. A and I get if you feel like Caleb Williams is going to be nice. Great. It looked like in his situation. It looked like his situation gonna be nice with the Bears, but you think he's gonna be a great quarterback? Amazing, wonderful. I got no problem with that. But for him to say he's on the same level as a Lamar, e even even these other guys, even these other guys. Now again, everybody got their own opinion. Never gonna be mad at that. But putting him there, right here, right now. It's like, ooh, whoa, <laughs> what's going on here, my friend? Um, cause even they even got the other a couple of other rookies in there, cause he said, uh, he, cause, but he got the rest of the rookies way on the bottom. 
He got them all on the bottom. Jaden Daniels, right on the bottom. J.J. McCarthy, right on the bottom. Oh, he even got Daniel Jones. <laughs> Daniel Jones, way on the bottom. But it's like, what? What is going on, man? Uh, but with Lamar Jackson, man, I uh, just got to keep doing this thing, man. We, we, we talked about this back in 2018, 2018 when we continuously saw Lamar Jackson being disrespected we said this way back then and what we said is that no matter what Lamar Jackson does no matter what he accomplishes no matter what things he defeats in the NFL no matter what Nothing that he does, nothing that he accomplishes, nothing that Lamar Jackson gets done will be good enough for some people. Nick Wright is some people. Team Keep It Clean, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, leave a like on the video because, again, it helps out the channel a ton, a whole lot. And it lets YouTube let you know when we upload a video. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. And like Nick Mind, when it comes to being in his mind, we out.